Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my contest entry for IT Cosmetics for the IT Girl Contest. <laughs> so um, I'm super excited about this because I've never really entered um, any beauty contest before and um, I'm kind of nervous about it but you know, um, I decided to just go for it. You know, in life you just have to go for it. So, so this contest entry is going to be basically about, about your most beautiful you. That is the theme. And it's pretty much a makeup look, which makes me feel beautiful. Also what your most beautiful means to me. Now guys, I'm going to tell you, your most beautiful you is not necessarily always about makeup or making yourself look different or better, but it's about how you carry yourself in life. It's about how you make others feel. It's about the confidence that you have within yourself and about yourself. And that will always like seep through your pores. So it doesn't matter. Um, you can have a full face of makeup and if you don't have confidence in yourself, you are not gonna be beautiful um, because you can look beautiful on the outside, but everything that's on the inside will seep through your pores and people will see that you're not confident about yourself or that you don't feel good about yourself or that you don't really feel beautiful on the inside. So what your most beautiful means to me is when you have the most confidence in yourself, when you carry yourself positively in the world, when you influence others, when you make them feel incredible, and when you do good in the world and you help others and things like that are basically what's going to make you the most beautiful. That's going to make you the most beautiful essentially. And also the most important thing that, you know, I believe and I always think is that a smile is the most beautiful thing that you can ever wear because you can have a full face of makeup and maybe you can feel the most confident, but you know your personality is just horrible or you just don't like people and you don't want to smile at them and you don't and you have a mad face and definitely that's not going to make you beautiful so it's all pretty much a combination of everything together it's you know how you present yourself on the outside how you present your confidence how you carry yourself it's all of that stuff and at the end of the day a smile is like the best thing ever because when you smile at people and you just share with them your smile it's like it doesn't cost you anything it's free to smile at people and you can just make them feel incredible so that will definitely make you beautiful and that will and that person that you made feel that way will always remember you will always remember your smile and the way you made them feel and they will see you as just incredibly beautiful so pretty much guys i'm gonna show you this makeup look i definitely think that the most beautiful you is pretty much wearing kind of neutral makeup that can accentuate the natural beauty that you already have, you know, kind of things that will just give you a little more of a, you can raise it up a little notch. I don't know if you get what I mean, but like natural, but raise it up a little notch. So today I have on, you know, like a pretty much rose gold neutral eye with like a nice little flush of color on the cheeks and a nice pink lip. And, and this look makes me feel really beautiful and gives me even more confidence to go out into the world and conquer it, like I like to say. I'm probably going to say that several times in this video, guys. So, all right, guys, um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this makeup look and don't forget to be beautiful, which means be yourself, influence others, and definitely smile. <laughs> all right, guys, love you. Okay guys, so for this look, I'm going to be using the Matte Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Fit Me Foundation and it's a normal to oily. And this is in the color Classic Ivory 120 and I really, really love this foundation because it is very lightweight but it does give pretty good coverage. It does make your skin look matte It makes it look pretty much flawless. Um, so that is the foundation I like to use on a daily basis. So it pretty much doesn't um, cover you up. It doesn't cover it. It doesn't give you like that coverage that makes you look all caked up. 
it just covers enough so you have a nice like base on your face. What I use to apply it with is the Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that all over the face and blend it out. So what I really like about this foundation is that it still um, makes you look natural, like you still look pretty natural, um, but you do have some coverage. So I mean, you don't, it kind of hides a little bit, you know, like the pores and imperfections and things like that, but it leaves you looking really natural, which is basically what we're achieving or what we're looking for. So for me, the kind of makeup look that I like to go for that makes me look, feel beautiful um, on an everyday basis is kind of like a neutral kind of eye, maybe a tad bit of champagne or a tad bit of gold or something like this kind of, those type of colors or maybe even some colors in the nudes palette. Um, you know, colors like this one or like this one. Um, kind of those champagne -y, bronzy, gold, neutral type of shades. I also like to do some pinks. You know, like maybe a light pink like this, which is like an everyday type of color. And things like this. Those are the type of colors that I really love to go for. For an everyday makeup look so I can feel nice and beautiful. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to use today is this um, sample size that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. It's from the Nude Dude and it's a mini nude eyeshadow. And this one is in the color Fit and that's what that looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. So that's pretty much the type of color that I like to do on a daily basis all over my lid. It's a nice little like type of kind of neutral bronzy kind of pinky type of color all that kind of like mixed in one and those are the type of colors that I usually go, go for on a daily basis and I really love the way they look on me. Another thing that I love to do is fill in my brows just a tad. I, I don't fill them in a lot because they are already pretty thick. But you can tell here in the front and you know a little bit here that the hairs are starting to get a little bit sparse and I like to fill them in with the Tarte Amazon Clay Brow Mousse and this is in medium brown. This is what the little thing looks like and it comes with like the spoolie brush and this is what the mousse looks like. And what I basically do is I just dip this part of the brush inside the mousse and then I just go ahead and brush fill in a little bit. I don't do any kind of weird outline. Um, some people do like to do that, but with my brows, I don't really think it's that necessary to do like a whole outline because they're pretty thick as it is. So then I just go ahead and like, you know, kind of fill them in like so. But it's not really a big thing. It just, but you can already immediately tell the difference between the two brows. This one is filled in a little bit and this one still has like some sparse hairs. So then I'm gonna go in again and fill in the other brow. Brush through them and give them a little shape. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some mascara, which to me is a very important step. I feel like I can go out anywhere 
with probably my brows done, mascara, and lipstick. And I would feel totally confident going out like that. So, um, right now what I'm using is the NYC Sky Rise. And this is a lengthening mascara. And this mascara is very affordable and it does work well like on for a daily basis makeup look. And I really like it, so we're going to go ahead and use that one. Now the next thing I love to do is um, some blush and it was so funny because I never used to use blush. I always thought that I had like a natural kind of rosy flush that was kind of annoying. Um, but I did get this blush in a swap and ever since then I've been loving it and it does give you a very nice like peachy kind of flush of color that is just totally different from a natural kind of flush of color. So I've started using it and I really, really like it. And this is the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dioro. And this is a very gorgeous blush. Um, so I just take this like elf kind of brush that I've had forever and you know, the stick is broken, but I swirl it in there and then I just go in my cheeks, swirl in my cheeks. Yeah, this is something that I do. I like to like, you know, kind of like swirl the brush all over my face. I don't know, it kind of gives it, I think, like a little extra glow. And um, I just do that. So as you can see, the blush gave my face a little bit of color, which I definitely love. And my last step is definitely applying an awesome lipstick. And this for me is like one of the main things that makes me feel just confident, beautiful, you know, you name it, and I absolutely love it. And the color I'm using right now, which I really love, what um, the colors that I love to use that totally make me feel like confident and ready to go out and beautiful are reds and pinks. And, you know, kind of mauve colors as well. But lately it's been reds and pinks. And I feel like with a good red lip or a nice pink lip, um, I can just kind of like conquer the world how, how I've said in other videos with a good mascara and a good lipstick you can just conquer the world so um, the one that I've been using lately which I absolutely love it's like this beautiful pink color that's like in between a pink and a purple kind of color and it is the color party pink from Maybelline and this is what it looks like it looks a lot darker than what it goes on the lips and I absolutely love this color and I love wearing it every single day. And this is the completed look, guys. This is something that I pretty much wear on an everyday basis. This and makeup look makes me feel beautiful, makes me feel ready to go out and conquer the world, like I like to say. But it also makes me feel like I'm not caked on, like I just have natural makeup on and I'm able to, you know, just accentuate the natural beauty that I have. You know, all of us have natural beauty, we just have to find a way to accentuate it. So I feel that this look um, accentuates it because I'm wearing a foundation that's very lightweight and it's not a whole huge coverage. It just gives me a little bit of a nicer base to work with. I feel like the flush of color from the blush is just gorgeous because it just gives me like a little bit of kind of like peachy rosy cheeks. Um, I feel that the eye color, the eyeshadow that I used is this nice like rose gold kind of color um, that is very neutral for the eyes and looks nice, you know, like to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, just accentuates your eyes a little bit. You know, the, um, the eyebrows are a little bit filled in. As you saw in the tutorial, um, I don't fill them in that much, but just making the hairs not look so sparse or look so empty, you know, makes your eyebrows shape your face so much better. And of course, the lipstick, the lashes, the lashes, the lashes. Um, 
I like the way that this mascara from NYC lengthens them and makes them look a little bit longer, makes my eyes look more ready, and I love the way mascara, you know, makes you feel and makes you look. So that's one of like my go-to essentials like on a daily basis is mascara. And of course lipstick, I really can't go out the door, you know, without at least some type of lipstick or lip gloss on my lips. I think it just changes the way your face looks, the way you feel. Um, you know it just makes you feel great so I really love wearing lipstick and wearing a nice pink or red is what makes you look the best so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and this kind of makeup tutorial but I also want you guys to remember that what makes you the most beautiful is who you are inside and of course um, fixing yourself on the outside and putting on makeup so you can just accentuate that natural beauty that you have just makes it that much better. It's just like the icing on the cake, the cherry on top of the sundae, but at the end of the day, the ice cream is the best part of the sundae and the bread is the best part of the cake. So the most beautiful you is going to be who you are on the inside, how you make others feel, the way that you are, how, um, the way that you are with other people, how you treat others, how you make them feel, how you can influence the world, you know, um, how you influence others, things like that. That's what's really going to make you beautiful and that's going to make you the most beautiful out of anything. And I hope that after watching this you feel more beautiful um, without even putting on makeup today. <laughs> Alright guys, so you guys know I love you and um, please like this video so, you know, we can win this contest. <laughs> Alright guys, so please like this video if you enjoyed it and I hope you guys did and I love you so much and I will see you next time and just smile. Don't forget to smile. That's the best thing you can ever wear. Love you guys.